Hello, this is Amin and this is session 21 of ASP.NET tutorial. In this session, we are going to talk about view model. Uh, if you remember in previous session, we passed some part of our data to view with model and uh, an object that we created from uh, cost model. And also we pass one string as a page title to view with view bag or we uh, could pass it with view data and uh, in this way we have a strongly typed view but already we use uh, view bag in or uh, view but if we want to has all the data with one model, we can create one view model and uh, store all the data to that view model and then pass that view model to view to restore the data there. This is the changes that I should uh, apply on my project. Uh, first, I should create one view model with uh, two properties. Uh, one for cost data and another one for page title. Then I should uh, store my data in my controller. Then instead of model directive that in previous session we make that one uh, from cost uh, model, we should uh, make that directive model from uh, the new created uh, view model. And then we can restore the data from that view model, uh, same as the model that uh, we describe and we talk about its uh, detail in previous session. Let's move to Visual Studio and create our view model and implement these changes to our project. This is the project that uh, we have been uh, working uh, throughout this uh, tutorial. This is the cost controller that I modified in last session. As you can see, I pass cost uh, data with this model, which is created from cost model. And then I pass uh, the page title with view back. Now I want to pass both data with one model. Uh, for this purpose, first I should create one folder with name of view models. Then inside that view models, I create one model and select one meaningful name for that one. As uh, you can see, this is cost controller and this is detail action method and I uh, call my uh, view model cost detail view model. This is the video model that I want to create it. I add one property and the first one should be a cost. I should import the uh, models uh, to this uh, class and with control period, I add the uh, models folder and the classes that I, ha I have there and I name it cast data. Also, I create another property with type of a string. The field name is page title. I save my uh, view models and back to my controller. This is the controller that I described uh, earlier. And this time I comment the previous session changes and I should create one cast detail view model. Of course, we don't have its namespace here, and I uh, can add the, its namespace with press control period, and I add the view model namespace here, and I name its model equal new cast detail view model, and open and close curly brace, and this time, Inside cost data, I stored 
the cast data that I want, which I catch from the property. Then I have page title. And inside page title, I store my page title, which is cast detail. And then I pass this model instead of the model which was created from the cost model. Let me save it and see what should be changed in detail view. This is the view model. And as I uh, use view model this time, I should change the model directive to view models and cast detail view model. This is the uh, new uh, view model that I created. And this time, instead of view back, I use again my model. And this time I can restore my page title uh, from the view model that I created. And for the ID, I should use model cast data ID and also for the rest, I should add cast data because I have cost model inside my cost detail view model and, in, and also the property of cost has some property ID amount category and comment. Let me modify all the fields and see the result. The project is up and running. Let me wrote to cast detail and this time you can see the project is running and I uh, received the cast detail and cast title without any error. And this time I pass all the data from controller to my strongly typed view with one view, which I call it uh, cast detail uh, view model. These are the changes that I should apply on my project to pass all the data with one uh, view model. So I want to talk about one package that you can use for creating views and partial views uh, without coding and it is auto generator uh, code. Let me create one action method, which is a list and inside list, I return just a view. And in the next session, I will talk about passing a list view and passing list of model to a view. But this time I want to create view of this uh, action method with auto generator code. For this purpose, I should add one package to my project. For this purpose, go to dependencies and right click on the dependencies. And I use uh, NuGet packages and click on manage NuGet packages. And I should go to the browse and I search Microsoft Visual Studio dot web dot code generation dot design and I click on it. And here you can select the version that you want. I prefer to install the latest stable version, which is 5.0.2 uh, at the moment of uh, recording this video. And this is the dependency that it has. It needs uh, net5.net5 5, .net 5 that I implemented my project with uh, this version of .NET. And then I click on install. Then I should accept the license. And based on your internet speed, it uh, takes some time to install the package. As you can see, now when I moved to install the packages, I have this package installed uh, for my project. Let me close uh, NuGet packages management. And now I create my view by right click on the view 
an add view and this time I uh, select razor view and add. As I mentioned, I want to have a list. That's why I select list template and I select cost as a model. And here you can create a partial view or reference uh, script libraries or use a layout page. Uh, we will describe it, uh, these uh, options in uh, upcoming videos. But for now, I just I want to uh, show you how you can create your view with code uh, generation. And then I click Add. It takes some time to scaffolding the project and add the requested view. And you can see list view added to a cost subfolder. And here I have the auto generated code that I will describe it in uh, upcoming session. That's it in this uh, session. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Text version of this video is available on our website and description of this video. And you have access to our social media channels on description of this video. And also you have access to our website link on description of this video. Don't forget to subscribe us and click on the bell to receive update from us. Thank you again for watching this session.